Hey guys, this is Mike here. <clears throat> In today's video, I'm going to bring you the uh, ways for you to actually install Android Q Beta 3 into the Essential Phone itself. I recently got this uh, new set of Essential Phone quite at a good price from where I'm using it. So uh, I'm going to just show you how you would basically, uh, pardon me for the sun, just give me a minute. Okay, looks much better now. Okay, so so what we are doing now is basically to show you the steps on how you actually put in Android Q Beta 3 into the uh, phone itself. So normally for this one, it's pretty direct. Um, currently, I'm on the latest Android Pie update. So in order to, Q, uh, to get Q Beta 3, Android Q Beta 3 into your phone itself, what you need to do is you go to Google Play Store and download the essential beta I think the essential Q beta app so what you do is to install this if the one is installed then you just basically need to follow the uh, steps on how you're gonna do this uh, logically what it does is uh, register you to the Android Q beta program and download the updates itself so just let's the uh, app download and we will continue on okay so what we have here um as you can see now i think we already have the essential q beta app installed so what we're going to do is just open it up and i agree and i join the beta oh you need to have a serial number of the device please allow access phone settings enable phone access allow So once you have um, entered the uh, necessary stuff for your access to the, to the Android Q Beta program itself, you reach this page. So you just need to click on done and you are basically enrolled. So basically what you want to do now is to just wait. Is there will be any OTA for Android Q Beta update. So yeah, you can just try and just check your phone and see. Is there any beta app? But uh, normally it will take a while, I guess. So once you have joined the beta, the um, the Q beta OTA over the air update might reach you as soon as like a day or less than a day or a few hours later. So you just need to frequently check that out until you get the OTA. And I'll get I'll come back once we have the OTA uh, update so that I can show you guys how it's uh, updated and stuff and how it looks like on Android Q beta. So yeah, I see you, I'll see you again later. Okay, I think basically around twenty minutes of wait. Suddenly, I mean like finally they have the beta beta version of android q here so uh what we're gonna do just to do a download and install and while waiting for that download finish uh, then we'll just wait for that to complete then we'll have a, a short review on how the android q looks like on the central phone see you again later okay the download has completed let just put it up now to see the results so the device is restarting now so let's just wait for this Okay, it seems that the reboot has completed. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, as you can see now, um, seems to be the same. Let me just check out the it's finishing. Android update. Uh, yep. So, so that's all we have. But uh, they do have the bug share thingy. Yep. Okay. Uh, but somehow rather they need to share it to somewhere, which I don't know where should we share it to. So we we'll just leave it for now. Uh, maybe we can share it via essential, by email or something. Um, I don't know how that works. Okay, let's just look at some of the features that they have. Uh, logically, they should have dark mode. So let's just see whether if I can put it as dark mode. Yep, it has it. Dark mode is here. Right. Then uh, also the gesture navigation. Somehow or rather, we can actually switch it if we want. I think it's in the... Uh, um, <laughs> So we said yeah, this is a gesture thing. Maybe we can do two button jump up. Uh, jump up and do two button navigation. Three button full gesture navigation. Yep. 
so yep you got a full gesture navigation running this will be your google thingy and this is your essential data apps and logically we can actually install google camera on this um yep so being so this is the way of how we actually put in android q beta 3 into your device itself so yep essentially if you want to run android q beta 3 into in your essential phone these are the steps to follow it's pretty direct and easy so i'll use this as my daily driver for a while i'll command i'll leave some command if there's anything which is uh, not usable for this phone so that's all i have for today's guys uh if you do have any question do leave a message or a command down below then i'll get back to you as soon as i can so do subscribe to my channel if you like the video i'm doing and uh, i'll see you again soon bye